Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is a former Navy aviator, former astronaut, and currently a senator from Arizona. Please welcome Mark Kelly. Good to see you again. Good to see you. It's been a while. As I said in your intro, former Navy aviator, former astronaut, and a senator privy to national secrets. So you are the natural person to ask this question. Are aliens real? <laughs> because the Navy released this footage a few years ago. They I sent know. out some aviators going, we were flying around. There were things shaped like pills the size of our jets, but doing tic things that we can't, the Tic Tacs, yep. doing things we can't do. We had them, you know, we had them locked on radar. We had them on visual. We had them on infrared. They're there. We don't know what they do. They have capabilities. We don't have what's going on, Senator Kelly. Well, I've talked to both the squadron commander and the lieutenant commander that were in the two F-18s. Right. With the, the uh, specific case you're talking about. Extraordinary story. Compelling. Compelling. And when you consider the size of the universe, and are you good at math? You want to do the math on this? Sure. So universe, <laughs> we got, we got two, two trillion. Two trillion, hold galaxies. on, comma, zero, 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 comma, zero, 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 comma, zero, zero. I'm still doing the commas. <laughs> 300 yes. billion stars in 300, each galaxy. So that's two times yeah. 10 to the 12th uh -huh. times three times yeah. 10 to the 11th, which is six times 10 to the 23rd. Right, which that's is, hold on, of, hold on, which is? I just told you what it is. Well, uh, it's a lot. It's six a times lot 10 to the 23rd. So that's six, 23 zeros, decimal point. Yes. That is the number of stars in our universe. Yes. So a lot more planets than that. So when you consider the math, Yep very likely that there is life in other places. Yes. But then when you consider how long it takes for something to go mm -hmm. distance through space at the speed we can travel at, yep. to go from here to the next star, which is Alpha Centauri at four light years away, that would take us about 50,000 years. So we don't feel like technology, you know, that, that we could understand could get something that distance. But what they saw was compelling. We can't do it, but the aliens the could. Aliens. <laughs> You're missing the question. The alien. Well, okay. the, the, other, the other thing I could say, from the aliens we know about, if you want to go there. I do. You know, I serve on the Intelligence Committee. Please do. So they're, they're really small, they have sharp teeth, and they live under your bed. <laughs> if you're not going to take this seriously, we can just stop right here. <laughs> Okay, it's no, no, no secret that you were on the short list to be uh, Harris's VP pick. Um, you're a big supporter of Tim Walls now. Um, Great guy. I've known him a long time. Would you, would, would, if, would you want to be in the administration if they were so lucky as to win? Well, I've been a public servant for 25 years in the Navy, now three and a half years in the Senate. I think public service. <laughs> thank you. Public service is really important. Mm -hmm. You know, and I... I, uh, but my focus right now is to make sure that Kamala Harris is the next president of the United States. Okay. Well, you're, 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 in a, you're a battleground state. I am a, Arizona's very close. Joe Biden won it by like 10,000 votes right. four years ago or almost four years ago. Now, 538 has basically a dead heat between Trump and Harris. What do you think could make the difference? What is it the people of Arizona would like to hear? Well, a lot of issues in Arizona... What happened with Roe v. Wade, you know, specifically that one issue has forced women in Arizona to bounce back and forth between like one really bad abortion ban and another. And it's been really tough. Uh, that issue is going to be on the ballot. Uh, so people have an opportunity to vote on this. There's actually a resolution. There's a resolution. So I would say that issue in this election looms pretty large. The other issue is the border. We're a border state. Border security is very important to me. It's important to Arizona. And Donald Trump is the guy who killed a bipartisan border deal. And we've, we've had times when it's been a crisis at the border. And we finally came together, Democrats and Republicans working across the aisle, the way that the Senate and Congress is supposed to work. And we had an agreement. And it's really unfortunate that the former president, 
Donald Trump told Republicans in the Senate that they weren't allowed to vote for this. And the reason is he realizes that he needed this for the election. So he didn't, doesn't actually want to solve this problem. He just wants to talk about the problem or take a picture at the border, which is what we've seen from him. And we've seen this from J.D. Vance. So that's very disappointing. But that issue is going to be a part of this election in Arizona. And statewide elections in Arizona are very close. So we're going to work really hard to make sure that Kamala Harris and Tim Walls win in Arizona and win the election. Another issue. Another issue that that has been brought to the fore tragically recently, gun reform is important to you as a lawmaker, but obviously to you in a deeply personal way. Um, There was another tragedy yesterday in uh, Georgia. Um, You know, one reaction to that, which is perfectly natural, is grief and rage, and another one is to shut down because there's so much of it. What would you say to people out there who just don't want to think about this anymore? Well, what you said is true. I mean, for me, this is really personal. There are parents and family members in Georgia yesterday that got the call that I got. That in my case, that Gabby, my wife, Gabby Giffords was shot. And then a call a little bit later that she was shot in the head. There are people that lost their loved ones yesterday. And it's just, it's tragic that we, today we live in this country that has the highest rate of gun violence, especially especially gun violence against children. And it makes us stand out as a country, like in the worst of ways. And the really sad thing about this is we know what to do about it. In states that have stronger gun laws, there are less people that get shot and killed. And there are common sense solutions that most Americans support that could really, really help. The problem is this has gotten really politicized over the years and money from the gun lobby uh, that's put into our elections. But we know what to do. That's the good part. So I would recommend that people don't shut down. And when you're you're deciding upon who you're going to vote for in in an election, you should make a decision based on issues. And if this is an issue you want fixed and we can fix it, hold your elected people, your elected leaders accountable. So please do that. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more. Senator Mark Kelly, everybody. Stick around.